So we know the electric field due to a point charge and we know it to be, we know it to be, to be this, that the electric field is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q upon R square into R pi. Okay. So this is my electric field due to a point charge. Correct. Now what if, what if the, what if I have a number <coughs> of charges, okay? So, so let there be multiple charges Q1, Q2, Q3, Qn, Qn positioned at, positioned at R1, R2, R3, position vectors, okay? Position vectors, fine. So what has happened? Let the field at a point P be required. which has a position vector which has a position vector vector r p position vector r p right so it is q1 Q2, Q3, Qn, okay, something like this. Now again, you should always, always think that because what happens so that it does not become much messy, we normally do not show the, we normally do not show the position vectors, right? But actually it is like that, okay? Actually, it's like that. So, so this is R3. This is R2. Nothing like that. So, Q1. So, this is R1. Get that. R2. This is R3. This is Rn and this fellow where, where this is to be found out this is R R P okay fine now due to this I want a field here correct I want a field there fine now what happens let's try to understand we always take a radially outward no we always take a radially outward vector from here so actually i am i am dealing with this now if this is positive then i'll remain in this direction q at this point this is this is the direction of R cam, correct? If it becomes negative, it will automatically flip it back, right? So if it is positive, it is automatically radially outward. If it is negative, it automatically flips radially inward. Understand? So I'll always be talking about the radially outward vector. Why? 
because it will be made radially inward by the it will be automatically converted into radially inward by the negative charge that is here correct if it's, if it's if there is a negative charge yes so so what i'm trying to tell you is this equation this equation takes into account both but provided you take r cap as the radially outward as the radially outward unit vector understand it is a radially outward unit vector so that's why i'm taking a radially outward unit vector okay now what is this vector the vector that connects a and p what is that vector called okay r a p so uh, so hold on the vector is a p let us not make that mistake a p the vector is ap but it is actually rp minus ra or r1 i'll say because okay because here uh, i have my q1 seated right now this we have been calling as rp1 do you see that hmm electric uh, not electric okay i am right now talking about the vector just talking about the vector because i need the radially outward vector p from 1 no it's not position now it becomes a displacement vector rp minus r1 is no longer a position vector it becomes a displacement vector okay so it is rp1 fine now what so this is rp1 but we would like to have rp1 cap correct now i'd like to point this anomaly in your cbse book there they have started dealing with writing it r1p calling this vector as outward as r1p which goes against our convention which we developed while doing the coulomb's law so i would like to stick to this convention it is rp1 r1p no uh, technically it is wrong because we have always been saying that if it is r1 minus r2 that is equal to r12 okay so similarly this the the bp vector the bp vector will be rp2 rp minus r2 right and so on okay this is rp2 vector this is rp1 vector right so so cp vector is rp so this is rp minus r r2 which is equal to rp2 this is rp minus r3 so that is equal to rp3 ultimately this is the last one is say np so it is r n my rp sorry minus rn so that is rpn now it becomes damn easy is it not so what is the total electric field electric field ep at p is given by ep is equal to this 
e at p due to 1 plus e at p due to 2 that's the direction no the field here is like that this is this is just the direction correct the positive field is like that if it was negative it will be like this so actually the field is here correct outward from the point get that so this is our e p 1 <coughs> understand Say this is our E P two. This is our E P three. Okay, this is E P three. This is E P three. And so on. This is my yes. E P N. Yes. So, so this plus E P N, now that is equal to that is equal to one upon four pi epsilon naught Q one upon four upon upon sorry. R, R, this is the distance I require, right? So, R P 1 square into R P 1 cap. Yes? This, this is it. And this is that vector. So, this is R P n vector. And that is E P n field. So this plus 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q2 upon rp2 square into rp2 cap plus <coughs> 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q3 upon rp3 square rp3 cap plus 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q n upon r p n square into r p n cap. Correct? <coughs> to avoid confusion, you could keep them as broken lines. this now that becomes 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught hmm? how do we convert it into the sigma form sigma q i r p i cap divided by r p i square that's all that is all. Something like force. Something like force. Because, because you know what happens. What happens if you want the force there? You just multiply this field by Q. Q. Finished. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's just, just the force equation. Nothing, nothing, uh, nothing, I'll not say great about it. Nothing different. <coughs> so, so E P eventually becomes 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught summation and I is equal to obviously 1 to n. I is equal to 1 to n Q i divided by R P i square R P i cap. Okay. That's how it is.
correct so that is how this goes the 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 field at a point due to the multiple charges right 